Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manx, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Civilization V as the Mongols. Mm -mm. So, I've done a lot of thinking. Last time, we um, we managed to take Carthage, and we kind of been fending off attacks from Russia. But Catherine has kind of pulled back. Now, if I go on the offensive right now, I am most likely just going to lose my Keshiks. I need to get cavalry attacks so I can upgrade these guys into something that can actually fight. But I've decided that I'm going to try to steal the Citadel. If I can get a great general here... I will actually be able to steal the tile with the citadel on it. And using that, I might actually be able to nuke Catherine a little bit from the safety of my citadels. And maybe uh, lure her into expanding some of her forces. So I'm going to move my cons up here. Or my con and my Keshiks. And I'm going to go a little bit on the, the offensive and see what I can do here. Uh, but mostly, for the most part, I am just interested in building some factories. It looks like... Um, uh, Theodora is trying to take Utique. I'm not sure if that's what she's going for. And she just pulled back, so I actually don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sell my dice to Hodunal Rashid for 7 gold per turn and 5 flood gold. Yeah, I might also, when my happiness is better, I might unpop up the city. But for now, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. Um, guess I'll just leave it as a puppet. So yeah, um, if I move over here, I can make the citadel and I can steal this other citadel right here and suddenly I have double citadels which is kind of cool so if she tries to take the citadel she's gonna have a very bad time a very bad time so I can just camp out here for a little while like sadly that was my last con at least I think it is oh uh, yes I do not have any cons at the moment I might bring this musketman up though because, honestly, there's no point in, like, my musketman just sitting down there. I don't think the city is going to be under under pressure. But my hope is that this is going to incentivize no, no, uh, Catherine to actually come and attack me. Looks like she has a general right there. I don't really want to take it, but I can shoot it, I guess. I mean, great people and workers always take 40 damage when you attack them. Uh, so I guess we can, like, swap these guys around and I can, like, shoot down her great general. That works. Alright, I'm going to bring my musketman up, because eventually I would like to take Budapest and liberate it from her. But I'm not going to move deep into her territory, because that's just going to be bad for me. Uh, Catherine has completed the Porcelain Tower. Oh boy. Uh, she's going hard into the science. At least I can do this. I can like shoot down her units and be like a general annoying asshole. So I'm going to put my musketman into the Citadel. This is kind of nice, because I just stole uh, back a bunch of territory from her, which is always nice to see. There we go. Venice wants to buy spices. I'll just take 7 gold per turn and 5 flood gold. So our science is looking pretty good right now. We're going to build some public schools. Currently, I'm just focusing on building factories and tree cities. Looky here. Here come some Cossacks. From Cossackstan. <laughs> Get it? No. No? Okay, oh, that was a bad joke. Okay. So yeah, hopefully she'll just going to continue to do this shit. That's what I'm hoping. I think I had some workers with nothing to do over here. I'm not really sure. Also, I think I have some... Yeah, I just bought a cathedral, which is kind of good. Cathedrals are great. I finally got my first faith building. Holy shit. That's, uh... That's, uh... <laughs> I didn't think I'd see the day. Anyway, I'm gonna buy a pagoda right now. See, I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm not really go gonna go on the offensive, as I said. I'm just gonna take a chill. Not sure if, uh... Theodora's gonna, she's most likely gonna take your teak. Oh well, I guess she can have it. I don't have the happiness for it anyway, so what can I really do? So we're currently repairing our infrastructure right here and getting some more dice over here, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at the Theodora, she's already grabbing them artifacts. Let's take a look at the tourism output right now. Byzantium has 12, so Theodora might actually be able to do something. Also, we can still attack. Lovely. Uh, I think metallurgy is probably the most expensive one. Let's see. Metallurgy is... That is... Nine turns. So navigation is nine turns. So at the end of the day, I guess... Yeah, metallurgy allows me to get... Um, it allows me to get artillery. So I should probably go for that. So Theodora is secretly plotting against Pocatello. Let's go and see if we can do something about that, shall we? Thank you, Madame Bider. Hello. Let's discuss. Here's uh -huh. some intrigue. There you go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Good dust. I guess we could also sell some coal. Eh, we're fine. 
Alright, you guys just sit tight and wait. So she wants a declaration of friendship. Uh, I suppose that works. I don't mind staying on good terms with Theodora. It's kind of Dido I'm hating, but actually not even that. Dido has one city. Yeah, Dido's actually about to be wiped out because uh, uh, Morocco just took her last cities and Utique's gonna fall very shortly. Maybe it was a bit of a mistake not to take Utique while I had the chance, but at the same time, I don't feel... <laughs> you have like... Can I take anything from her? No, she doesn't have anything left. Poor girl. She's gonna get wiped out. There we go. Boom. She's out of the game. Dido, be gone. Be gone, I thought. <laughs> Funny. Alright, let's keep trading, guys. 19 gold training with Constantinople. That's great. We're definitely gonna... Once I'm done with this Colosseum and this workshop... Actually, maybe I should just go for a cargo ship. I could buy one, maybe. Honestly, I think that would earn itself in. Let's fucking do it. It's gonna earn itself in, for sure. Kind of disappointed Catherine's not sending more forces in here. I kind of wish she would do eight. that, but, you know. It's okay. I could send my Keshex over elsewhere, but at the same time, I feel like... Hmm, I really do not want to lose them. Okay, so this is 25 gold per turn right here, which is kind of great. Just gonna make sure that, like, this doesn't get pillaged by any city-states that I'm at war with right now. I think I should be fine, because the trade route is going, like, here, over to Constantinople. I'm actually spying on Constantinople. Let's check out their city, shall we? So she is building archaeologists. I also actually, ne I, I never checked out uh, Carthage. Let's view Moscow. She's making Cossacks, so she's building up an army. Uh, but I never actually checked out Carthage. So, decently cultured, the city. It has the Oracle and Borobudur, so that's a lot of faith. That explains why I'm suddenly getting pagodas. Alright, so I'm gonna give myself the windmill in Karakorum, and I'm also gonna work the factory, because I like working factories. Uh, it's gonna grow in 30 turns. I don't really have the happiness to grow it anyway, so it's not like I need to do that. There we go. Uh, don't want open borders with Venice, thank you very much. But yeah, I'm just gonna focus on production and science no, right no. now. That's usually what I'm gonna do. My god, the open border spam is fucking annoying. So, I guess I can pillage? Yeah, why not? I guess I could save the pillaging, to be fair. But yeah, right now I'm just gonna wait with my Keshex. Open borders, open borders. Everyone loves open borders. Do you want some... I okay, so... Arabia has adopted order. So I don't still think there's... Oh, hi there. Cossacks out of fucking nowhere. Look how much damage that thing dealt to me. Holy shit. Like, that is just insane. That is just fucking insane. Like, look how much damage these things deal. It's getting scary at this point. Anyway, let's go for military science, because that will allow me to get cavalry, so I can upgrade my freaking Keshex. Also, I'm currently unhappy. I need to do something about that. Getting two free ideologies once I get the factories is going to do so much, though. I have a shit ton of coal. I should probably sell all this coal, to be fair. Oh, more Cossacks. Let's swap these two. By all means, Catherine, keep sending, uh, keep sending Cossacks my way. Every Cossack I kill is valuable, so... Uh, I think I should probably uphold this deal, to be fair. I mean, I should definitely sell my spare coal. That's gold I'm not getting. I don't need these horses anymore, but maybe you want coal? No? Okay, I'll find someone who needs coal. Oh, hi there! Holy shit, welcome back. Um, whoops. Let's fucking back up a little bit there, shall we? Um, let's fucking back up a little bit there. Oh, no, that's not good. That's a Cossack. Fuck. Okay, I might... I thought Catherine was done. But apparently, she was not. Okay, turns out I might need to make some more Cossacks or some more Keshiks. Please don't kill my Keshiks. They're kind of valuable. <laughs> oh, wow. He wants... No, sorry, Pocatello. I am not going to give you 15 gold per turn. Oh, shit. Just when I thought she was done. Just when I thought she was done. Okay, let's get... Let's back the fuck up here, shall we? 
Let's back the fuck up here, shall we? Okay, let's shoot. Well, the Keshiks are still pretty strong. Let's shoot on these guys. Holy fucking shit, those Cossacks. Well, we ain't letting them anywhere near our, our shit, that's for sure. <laughs> Holy shit, Russia is just not letting up. I'm glad I built a castle here. <gasps> oh my god, no, not my citadel! Holy shit, not my citadel. Um, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's do this. I'm gonna lose my fucking uh, musket men at this rate. This continues. Alright, back off. Uh, let's shoot on these guys. My god, I need more soldiers. Can I buy my soldiers? No, I don't have the gold for that. I think I might have to postpone this windmill and get some... Uh, get some musket men over. But here's the problem, though. I, I need cavalry at this point. The Keshiks cannot keep defending. Fuck me for losing that citadel. That was actually pretty huge. Yeah, I'm going to keep buying citrus. Am I going to lose my musket men now? Yep. I just lost my musket men. Holy shit. Those citadels were kind of valuable. Um, this is starting to look really bad. Alright, just just keep doing hit and runs. Just keep doing hit and runs, and we should be fine. But Beshbalik is gonna take some heavy damage soon, if I'm not careful. It has a castle, but I cannot lose the city. It only has 48 defense strength, so... Ooh, shit! There's some cannons there that I really gotta make sure I don't lose. I really need a con right now. Like, I really need a fucking con. Actually, I should upgrade my Gatling guns. There we go. Alright, so let's focus on the riflemen, because they're kind of na the nasty parts of uh, Catherine's army right now. I just really wish I had a con. There we go. And we'll shoot down these guys. Boom, boom. Okay, we're building musketmen. Maybe we should just start building cavalry. Okay, we have minus two horses. Maybe we could buy some from... Oh my god, Pocatello is getting his ass kicked. Wow, holy shit, Catherine is crushing Pocatello. Do you want coal? No. Um, how about you, Venice? Do you want anything? Saludos. Okay. Well, he wants to... I think he probably wants to pay six gold per turn for my coal. Maybe five gold per turn? There we go. That's better than nothing, I guess. How about Morocco? Do you have anything for me? No, I just asked him. How about Theodora? You got any horses? She does. I think I should probably do this because I'm taking a penalty from not having strategic resources, which is kind of fucking me over a bit. Alright, let's go for rifling now. Okay, so now I got cavalry, which is good, I guess. Oh my god. Catherine is not letting up. Do not have the resources to upgrade. I also need horses. Wait a minute, what? I need horses? Are you kidding me? Don't Keshix cost horses? Can I not upgrade when I have zero horses? That sounds really, really strange. What the hell? Anyway, let's fuck over this guy. Gatling guns pack a much better punch, as you can see, which is kind of nice to see. Uh, let's move over here. Swap places with this guy. We just gotta do these hit and runs. I do need also need to send someone over to repair the citadels eventually when I got the time. But yeah, I got only four Keshiks right now, which is not great. Holy shit. But she doesn't really have any siege weapons, so Beshbalik is probably not gonna fall unless I do something about that cannon. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta shoot on level. Well, the cannon's not in range yet. The Gatling gun is at least doing really well. I have the castle here, right? Yeah, I do have the castle. Although, honestly, I probably need even more than that very soon. Okay, I can get cavalry right now. I would like to shoot first, though. So I want to kill this guy. Um, who, which is the highest level? I think these guys are the highest level. 
All right, we're promoting these guys to cavalry now. We have to, pretty much. Like, Keshix just won't cut it anymore. But these guys are going to be really strong, though. 34 combat strength. They can actually match the rifleman. But I got to do something about... Um, I got to do something about that cannon. Because if that cannon comes close to my city, I am going to fucking die. Ooh, hi there. Hi there. Musketman, please be finished. <laughs> We could steal another tech. I think I'm actually going to have to go for rifling here. Yep, I'm going to have to go for rifling. What does the spies tell me? Catherine is plotting against Theodora. Let's inform her. Can you declare war on Russia soon, please? No? Okay. Okay, so what I need to do right now is I need to shoot down these guys. Do some damage to these guys and then retreat. We just gotta keep shooting down the Kashiks wherever we see them. Do you believe these guys can still shoot? Yes, they can. These guys have March, so they'll still be pretty great. They'll keep healing. If I get some more gold, 320 gold. It's a lot of gold. Let's go for electricity. Let's see if we got some aluminium here. I'm fairly confident I can beat her back, but holy shit is she pushing hard. Alright, Beshbalik, is she gonna attack? She is moving in. Surely at some point this endless torrent of soldiers must fucking stop, right? Alright, let's continue to trade with Nakea. Alright, a lot of riflemen this time around. Let's focus on... I'd say we focus on the cannon, actually. Let's focus on the injured units. Alright. Look at this. I would have fucking killed for a con right now. Can I fucking get a con? That'd be great. Alright, then we can do a hit and run with the cavalry. Go back. I need more cavalry as well. These guys are really good. Oh, they have they have logistics. I keep forgetting. They can actually attack. Twice. I should keep this in mind. God, look at this army though. <laughs> All right, I just need to make a shortcut by the way. I'll be right back ladies and gentlemen All right, welcome back. Sorry about that guys. Just had to do a quick restart um, Anyway, so let's continue the defense against Catherine Really sad that she pillaged our citadels. Those would have been very nice to have right now It would have completely shut her down on the north side, but you know, what can we do? So I still got my Keshix. I gotta remember though that my cavalry can actually do can I tackle it attack twice, which is something that actually might help me out here. We're gonna go like this. She has a lot of units, but not a lot of hard-hitting units. Her Cossacks are already starting to lose their touch. Like, okay, no, that's not true. Her Cossacks are still really strong, but they're not good at attacking cities. Uh, cavalry innately get a penalty against cities. I don't think ranged do, but um, these guys... They do get a no defensive terrain bonuses, and I do believe they also get a, there we go, penalty attacking cities. So minus 33% penalty against cities. TLDR, you don't want to use cavalry to take cities. It's usually considered a very bad idea. Look at her, she's retreating. Alright, can we get some workers over here to repair those citadels, please? Let's not be too ambitious with the, with the chasing, but we definitely want to make sure we... Kill as many units as we can. I want to kill this cannon for sure. Cool. We're actually running out of promotions to get. Lol. Alright, I'd say things are going pretty well. I did not expect it, them to go this well though, but fucking hell, we now got logistics on our Gatling guns. These crossbowmen have been around for a long time. They've turned into Gatling guns with logistics. This is fucking cool. I love it. Okay, there's still some stragglers every now and then. If you can get range on your Gatling guns, that is truly when they shine the most. Alright, oh fuck, we can't even go... We don't have open borders with Pocatello, so we can't go into his territory. That is kind of sad. Do I want to do this? Yes, I want to do this. Alright, go repair the citadels. We need the citadels. Alright, let's grab shock and uh, cover. We can probably do this, though. 
I hope I don't lose my cavalry right now. I don't know what Catherine has over there, but you know what I would fucking love? I would have loved a fucking con right about now, but it takes for fucking ever to get them when you're this late into the game. Yeah, yeah sure, let's work together. I don't think Pocatello's gonna be around for a very long time anyway, but we might as well. All right, finally, autocracy. So Morocco already adopted autocracy, but that's fine. That still means we get one free tenants, which is pretty good. So now we need to think about what we want to pick. So we can get uh, one happiness from every castle, arsenal, and military base. We can get elite forces, which is kind of good. Um, spy steel technology is at, at double the rate. That might be very useful, actually. I think I'm going to go for that. We can't steal anything from Russia, but fuck it. We're going to spy on Morocco because we can. Fine, you know what? We're gonna go with uh, spiced steel technologies at twice the normal rate because we really need to catch up, and this is actually great. This means we're gonna steal from Byzantium at a very alarming rate. Let's just hope we don't get con. All right, so now we need to go for public schools. That's what we need to do. All right, let's attack uh, and attack and retreats. That's usually the way to go. And maybe we should like base our Gatling guns over at the forts. Same with this musket man. We just wanna we wanna hold these uh we wanna hold these citadels for all they're worth. Hey cool. Morocco likes us. Nice. We both follow autocracy. That is always nice to see. Holy shit, what's going on here? Oh My mines turned turned into actual mines. Oh what's this? Looks like uh, Pocatello is spawning rebels and they're coming over here to cause some mayhem. That's not cool. Pocatello, keep your rebels out of my country. God damn it. Alright, if I get formation, that might not be such a bad uh, bad option to get, actually. Wait a minute. Shock one? Oh! My, ca my cavalry has accuracy. That's actually not great. <laughs> oh, that's actually terrible. That's actually terrible. I just realized those are horrible cavaliers because they have the ranged promotions instead of the melee ones. So they're good at shooting. Uh, I didn't think about that. That kind of sucks. Oh well. So now she wants peace, but she wants my cities. You're funny. You're, fu you're funny, Catherine. You're not going to get your way. I am... Oh, 13 unhappiness. What the fuck? Is that ideology pressure? 14 from public opinion, yeah. Ooh. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea after all. Alright, so I think we want to go for dynamite right now. Once we're done with electricity, we want dynamite. So I'm just actually going to start popping the scientists. There we go. 20 turns? Wow. Okay, can we get any luxuries? Tahiti. Tahiti. You want coal? Kimmel. Nope. I think Venice wanted coal. I'm not sure if they want all our coal, though. Salute. Salute. No, he doesn't want all our coal. Ooh, who's generating so much public opinion here? That's... Uh, wow, they, they only have like 10. So if you don't know, the reason why I'm getting uh, minus happiness right now is because of public opinion. The desire for a new ideology. Someone with a lot of tourism is pressuring us because we have a different ideology to them. The more culture they generate, or the more tourism they generate based on our culture, the less happiness we will get. So they're kind of like, they're pressuring us with tourism to change our ideology. A bit complicated, but that's how it works. So, the more culture we generate, the less we're gonna feel it. But the truth of the matter is that we might have to start generating some more culture right now if we don't want to get completely overwhelmed by this unhappiness that is currently affecting us. So... We probably just gonna have to... I mean, honestly, we probably just need to generate... Yeah, we need to generate more culture and more tourism or else we're just gonna get pressured so that is what we have to do right now so i am just gonna be putting these kashiks out in random cities to ward myself against barbarians i'm gonna place these guys over here and the gatling guns over here keep these guys on the border for scouting purposes i guess i could make peace maybe just white peace yeah there we go she's friendly though Hey, can we like trade here? That'd be great. Do you do you value coal any? Do you do you value <laughs> dice? 
Okay, this is gonna be expensive, but I think I might be able to make it work. 18 gold per turn. Dice, embassy. Fine. 20 gold per turn. 21 gold per turn. Oh, she's she actually wants my coal. Okay. Fine. There we go. That's a good deal for me. I'll take that. I just want peace. That is completely fine with me. She's probably gonna attack me again, but you know what? I'm happy with this. I, I've, I've been at war with her for like... Fucking ever. So Venice wants to buy my dice. 227. I think I can get like 3 gold per turn or 2 gold per turn for that. There we go. That gives me actually the gold that I need to upgrade my Keshex, and I should probably do that right away. Ah, oh, there comes the denunciation. That was quick. Holy shit. Oh look, it's the Mongolian peace team. We haven't heard that since like part five. Jesus. So that's what it sounds like. Does it cost one extra set of horses to upgrade my Keshex? What the fuck? That's so weird. Oh my god, it's nice to have peace times again. Do you want no? Fuck off. Oh, they want to suggest... <laughs> Some people want to suggest a standing army tax. I love Catherine. She's like, I hate you, but let's rebuild our embassies. What a bitch. So right now I need to build culture buildings in... Stop the open border spam, for fuck's sake. I need to build a lot of culture buildings in my different cities right now. If I, if I don't want to get pressured to hell. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to be focusing a lot on culture. Let's rebuild our citadels. We can steal another tech, that's great. I think we're actually out of things to steal right now from Constantinople, so we might want to move over to Rabat, if we can do that. We can steal from, I think Morocco's like the tech leader, so the more we can steal from him, the better. I swear not to spy on you anymore, she discovered our spies anyway, so it's about time we remove them anyway. All right, so Karakorum's gonna have great protection once this windmill finishes. I do want to make sure that I work on my factory tiles. There we go. But we do want to make sure that we're still, like, getting some food. But we don't really have... We don't really have the happiness to keep growing our cities. We just want just as much production as we humanly can, so we can pump out buildings. Um, I think we can probably go with a public school in Bashbalik. We're getting artillery right now. We're gonna gear up for a big war against Russia. My plan right now is that I'm going to take Budapest, and that I'm going to continue on to Novogorod, St. Petersburg, and that I'm going to eventually march on Moscow. I think if I can take down Catherine, I'm doing a pretty pretty good job. Standing army tax is completely fine with me, to be quite honest. That basically increases the maintenance cost by 25%. That's going to hurt the other big leaders a lot more than it's going to hurt me, because my army is actually pretty small right now. It sounds like he says, I always thought that was hilarious. Anyway, so we now have a windmill in Karakorum. So why is the war theme playing? Come on, we're not at war. There we go. So now we have uh, 42 hammers. That's great. We have great production in the city right now. So we're going to go with... I think we want... We want the guilds for sure. We want the guild, the artist guild. And then we want the national epic and the garden. God, we have so many... So much shit we want right now. The garden. We also want Circus Maximus eventually. Yeah, we need to generate culture. We need stronger culture. Also, the standing army tax uh, proposition failed, so apparently that got outvoted like fucking crazy. Also, we have aluminium. Great. That means we have hydro plants in our cities. This is this is good news. This is very good news. Also, I think let's check out our available trade routes because I think we can get a lot of gold. If we, uh, if we do the proper trade routes. Let's see. Uh, trade routes available. Yeah, we got like... We can probably keep this. Um, highest gold. We can trade with Russia, actually. I'm considering buying myself another trade cog. Cargo ship. Because it's going to earn itself in eventually. It takes me so fucking long to build them. But yeah, we're gonna do do what we can with this era of peace right here that we have to just build up our sciences. We're actually not doing terribly. Morocco is doing really well, which is kind of scary to see. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it... Carthage is not a coastal city, is it? 
No, it's not. So what the fuck is up with this trade route that I saw? Oh, it's a land trade route. Oh, wow. This cargo ship is kind of shit. Holy shit. Unless I can get some sort of trade mission. Almarine has a trade mission for me. Holy shit. This was a terrible... Oh my god. Six gold per turn? That's awful. <laughs> I need to explore the sea so I can find some better trade routes and maybe get a harbor up in Hisa. Holy shit. That was the land trade route all along. I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be great. But no, it was awful. <laughs> Six. That's the worst gold I've ever spent in Civ. Let's keep trading with Constantinople. Holy shit. Well, at least I can still trade by sea to Constantinople. I guess that works. I guess that works. But yeah, we are booming like crazy right now. We finally have a good economy. We're gonna get more culture. This is great. Alright, I think this is probably a good idea to make a shortcut, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are enjoying this LP so far. I'm definitely excited to see where we're headed right now. I definitely think it's about time to go to war with Russia in about maybe one or two parts, depending on how long we spend to build our army up. But we just got so many things we need to do right now. It's certainly going to be a big build-up process, like it usually is during the mid to late game. We'll see how it goes. I'm very excited to see this, where this game is going. Hope you guys are as well. Give me a like and a comment if you are. And as always, my name is Finn Manx. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.